Good afternoon, Big H coming to you from Bordentown, New Jersey. Sitting here at a TA, a Petro, I should say. Doing my 10 hour reset, I got about two and a half hours left. I'm gonna take a shower, take a shave. So I, last night I drove from just south of Caribou, Maine. So if you look at Caribou, Maine on a map, it's pretty much the last big major city in Maine before you hit uh, Canada, Nova Scotia. And then to your right would be New Brunswick. I did 650 miles from, again, just outside of Caribou to that central Jersey. Heck of a ride. Um, most I've ever done. Got a good uh, lane. Crushed it as far as getting... 650 miles. I think the most I've ever done before was 610 miles. So I averaged a little bit, I averaged 65 miles an hour. So there were some good downgrades. Um, within reason, of course. On my way to Atlanta, Georgia on the 12th at 10 o'clock. Guess what? Got another storm to contend with. This time, it's not the snow that I'm concerned about, it's the ice that's coming. So it's supposed to start tonight at 7 o'clock. PM in most places on the East Coast. I'm on 95. I'm doing 95 to 85. Um, so as I go inland is where my concern is going to start. Um, that's where my concern is going to start because of the ice. Right now it's 342. It's 42 degrees. So I'm not too worried at all about uh, about getting to where I need to get to. Um, safely. It's tonight. It's the early morning hours, which I'm going to drive. And I love driving the nights, by the way, more than anything else. Um, days you get to see the good sights, but it's the nights that you make up the most distance. Um, I was able to do 650 also because I cut. GPS had me going down 95 all the way through Boston, all the way through Providence, Rhode Island, all the way down the coast. So I chose to do, um, was go get to 91 take that south and catch 95 so I was able to cut basically a lot of the coastline out thus getting to where I got getting to where I needed to get to 95 was quiet this morning going through Connecticut if anybody knows that route Connecticut 95 south going towards the GW or George Washington Bridge can be hellacious um, GW Bridge going out west towards Pennsylvania is free it's coming into the city that it is really expensive. I believe it was like seventeen, eighteen dollars an axle. It's over a hundred dollars to get into the city. So I will never go that way. So with that being said, I am uh, I'm ready, getting ready to stack, get up food, fill up on the fuel, um, and praise and, and praise the Lord that I don't hit so much too much ice and I'm out of the out of the muck. As I go south, it's going to eventually get to rain. Um, so let's see what happens. There's a beautiful truck sitting to my left I need to show you guys. Hold on one second. It's absolutely beautiful. Look how beautiful that truck is. Obviously just got it clean compared to my truck. Big H. Transportation. This is what happens when you're up in the north. I mean, this is the weather we've been getting. She's a beautiful, but I really need to get her washed. But again, I'm going into some hellacious weather. And I don't feel like spending the money to wash just yet. I'm contemplating. Who knows? If the line's not so bad, I just may uh, give her a quick wash. But... I'm gonna keep these videos short because my st I have storage issues on both my iPad and my iPhone. I delete pictures, I delete video, some apps that I never use, and it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it uh, my storage capacity is really becoming limited, which is really bothering me a lot. But I uh, hope everybody's safe, making great decisions. trying to put out as many videos as I can hopefully they're getting better for you guys uh, you know I'm, I'm thinking about 
just uh, doing some, you know, talking about my pre-trip, which I'm going to do a vehicle pre-trip, talking about the lanes. I'm mostly in the northeast, and thus far, the northeast is paying me money. I think my worst load that I've gotten out of the northeast has been Virginia. Um, so anybody who gripes and says the Northeast is not the best place, I have to beg to differ. Um, some of my checks have been over 5000 for the week coming out of the Northeast, whether it's Buffalo, whether it's Massachusetts, whether it's Maryland. Uh, so, you know, my fleet manager doesn't have me out West. If I go anywhere, it's Oklahoma. Texas and then back east again and and I have to admit the loads coming out of those parts of the country are definitely better as far as money's concerned but at the end of the day I'm still making a hell of a living doing what I'm doing and where I'm going and where he has me so I'm happy I'm a happy prime lease driver fleet manager takes care of me, I take care of him. Uh, I'm getting caught up lately in the fact that my receive, the receivers I'm going to has me held up there for quite some time. Typically longer than usual, whether it's paperwork or whether it's unloading, which is then impacting how far I could drive when I pick up a load. You know, I had to deadhead almost 300 miles to pick up this load just south of Caribou, Maine. So they had to open up the window for the 01 because I was held up between unloading and the paperwork for nearly six hours, which obviously impacts what time I can pick something up. So the last three trips have been that. They've had to open up the window for the 01, but for some reason on the 90, they can't touch it. Uh, they can't open up the window for whatever reason that may be. Um, so, but I've been able to get it. I just push the, I just push the metal to the pedal. Um, thank God, <laughs> I'll have a strong bladder, so I'm able to go long distances. And I time my half hour breaks. Usually, typically, any time after I drive for at least four and a half hours. So anywhere between four and a half hours and three and a half hours. I'll stop, load back up on food, do what I got to do, get back in the truck and run the remaining time out. I hate to burn up my clock. Like today, for example, I've ready, I started out, I believe, with 21 hours. I am... You are out of hours of service driving time. Yeah, I'm down to 16 hours, but I do get back, I get back eight. 51 tonight, 8 hours and 51 minutes, and I'll get back 9 hours and 10 minutes. So, time is fine. I've been able to run recaps pretty smartly. Um, so, where I can relax and not use a lot of time, I do. I use personal conveyance smartly. And so, I've been managing my clock a hell of a lot better than I was, say, two months ago. So, with that being said, folks, I hope everybody has a great day. Stay safe. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate everyone coming coming by and just checking checking me out, checking out my journey. I promise once I get back on home, once I get back home, I'm going to upgrade my phone to more storage so I can bring better videos, more drone footage. Because right now I'm kind of handcuffed. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to get more storage from my phone right now, my iPad, I appreciate the feedback. Guys, I've deleted videos. Like I said, I've deleted pictures. I've deleted apps. And it doesn't really move the needle. So I don't know what's going on. I've deleted pictures and then I find them somewhere else on the phone, in my library or something. So I don't get why I can delete something, but yet it doesn't move the needle as far as storage. So again, if anybody has any feedback on that, I really would appreciate it. Again, keep safe, make smart decisions. And we'll be back at you. Thank you for stopping by. Big H Transportation.